Hey guys, it's October, and you know what that means. Halloween all month long, right here on Comic N TV. I'm Shannon, and today we're going to be taking a look at Spawn Reborn Wings of Redemption Spawn with Batwing variant. So stay tuned. All right, guys, so as we're here, I thought I should reveal a little something. I'm film actually filming this a little over a month in advance. Uh, it's currently the end of August. I just got this figure. My wife was at a local thrift store the other day, came across this. Wing, Wings of Redemption Spawn. Batwing variant, which in and of itself is a pretty rare figure. Now, I have seen these going for a pretty penny online whenever I'm able to find them. Uh, they're probably about $50 to $75 online if you can find them. So far, the uh, I've only found like maybe two or three suppliers that actually have this exact spawn. I found several that have the standard Wings of Redemption with the angel wings and all that. But this is the demon, the wings of damnation, as I like to call it, variant. And I have to say, I am very impressed in the detail in this figure. And you guys will never guess in a million years how much my wife paid for this. She actually messaged me while she was at this thrift store, took a picture, sent it to me asked me who this was and if I wanted him. Of course, I said, this was Spawn in F yes. <laughs> I love Spawn figures. They aren't really much for articulation, but th what they lack in articulation, they more than make up for in design and sculpt. She told me when she got home, she bought it for one one dollar one uno and i have to say that is a really awesome price sure it's pre-owned um it's got a couple busted parts like this gauntlet here i don't know how well you guys can see let me bring it forward this his gauntlet here should come to a point it was busted off no big deal and then his foot here was busted off. It's kind of flatted out, flattened out. No big deal. Um, it was pretty dirty when we got it, so I cleaned him up uh, as best I could. I spent probably two hours with a Q-tip and rubbing alcohol, getting him completely cleaned up, and then taking a rag, a wet wash rag, wiping him down, and just he looks gorgeous now. I've always wanted a Wings of Redemption Bawn. As I said, they're pretty expensive. I lucked out that my wife was able to find this for a dollar. Let's go ahead and zoom in. All right, as you can see on the mask, if it'll focus, come on, focus. Uh, there is some paint scuffing. As I said, pre-owned figure. Not really much you can do about it, except maybe try and restore it, but I like it the way it is. Uh, but the detail on the mask, it very much resembles the action figures we got with the Spawn movie back in the 90s. Very nice detail. Um, it's got that same, I don't really know what to call it, uh, same technique, I guess. Very nice. And these bat wings. Got the little fingers coming down in the bat wings. Very nice. I really like it. I like it a lot. And the fact that the tips of the fingers on the bat wings aren't busted or anything. 
is it makes it that much better see they kind of got the leathery look to it with veins running through very very nice come down here to the feet uh, they didn't do like a silver shine on the spikes uh, it's kind of a black very dark and gritty look which is still pretty good very nice detailing on the sculpt They got the skull there. It actually it's kind of a screaming skull, it looks like. I don't know if that was intentional or not. Um, because that, the spot right here, it looks like it should come down from the uh, Malbolgia M on the symbol. But then again, it also looks like it could be the lower jaw of the skull, which isn't too bad. And yes, he does have the Malabolgia M symbol on his chest. It's just very faint. If you guys can tell. Followed up from the skull here. Very faint. Um, they could have maybe brightened that up a little bit. And I, I don't think this relates to the age of the figure. I think it... Or that it's been used. Because I watched another... A couple other videos on this spawn, which there aren't very many out there because he's such a rare figure. Uh, but they all look like this. They've got the very faint Malabolgia M symbol on his uh, torso. Look at the detail on this guy. Very nice. I am just, I'm still in shock that my wife was able to find this guy at a thrift store of all places for a dollar. All right, guys, now let's go over articulation. Uh, the wings do not move. They're, well, they, I guess they kind of rock back and forth a little bit. Not much. They're glued in there, I guess you'd call it. Um, the head does turn all the way around. Not bad. No ball joint or anything just standard head uh, arms can go up and down uh, if the wings weren't in the way they could go all the way around but the wings do stop them um, there is forearm articulation which is hidden behind his gauntlet, which is very nice. I like how McFarlane, McFarlane Toys designed these to where almost every bit of articulation is hidden. See, you can't really, um, I mean, aside from the main ones, you know, Everything else is pretty well hidden. Uh, there is... N well, yeah, I guess there is... A wrist swivel as well. I don't know how well you guys can see that because he's pure black and it's such a tight area. But there is a little bit of wrist swivel as well. Um... I don't know if that's, I think that might be the main swivel and that when you swivel the gauntlet, it actually swivels the hand with it. So I'm, I'm not entirely sure, but it's kind of how it seems considering how the uh, other arm is. Other arm is the same way. Um, however, it does have bicep. <laughs> that didn't look right. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> it does have bicep. 
joint as well as forearm and does this have wrist no no wrist articulation uh, it does have a waist swivel um, legs pretty stiff and it, they just move like that um, no knee articulation at all. Um, but they do have calf swivel right at the, uh, boot, the bit, the big ass boot. <laughs> um. Then this leg, no thigh swivel, but does have ankle swivel, which it swivels right there in between the two bands. So that's hidden pretty nicely. Um, now let's see if we can get this guy. Back the way he's supposed to look. There we go. That looks all right. Um, slightly hard to stand because of the sculpting and everything, and the limited articulation. But overall, not bad. Very, very nice figure. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, guys, comparison time. Here we have the Wings of Damnation spawn standing right next to the movie spawn. Um, as you can see, there's about uh, maybe half an inch difference from head to head. Uh, and then to the top of the wings, he just towers over the movie spawn. As you can, guys can see, the detail on the uh, costumes between the two, very, very similar. Uh, the only thing the Wings of Damnation spawn is missing, really, are the skulls on his chest. But still not bad. This has been a, a Halloween episode of Come Again Toy Review, where we took a look at the Spawn Reborn, Wings of Redemption spawn, Batwing variant, or as I like to call them, Wings of Damnation spawn. I'm Shannon for Comic Again TV. Have a happy Halloween, guys. Take care.